Hello everyone, it's Perry here. Uh, you can see my voice has gone deeper. Yeah. Sorry, I'm... I just haven't been recording for so long because I'm really busy with my work. And... Yeah, also, this thing took me quite a long time to build. And I have no time to record it, finally. So here it is. This beast. Okay, so I'm going to showcase this beast to you over here. And I'll try to explain parts and how I built it. So, yeah, let's get an outlook of it. This is so big, you can probably see like this part is where I usually record my videos, and this is the shelf. Get away. Great. So, okay, this is the whole thing. Yeah, really big. I can't do it. Uh, I can't record it vertically because I'm later. I'm doing it horizontally, so I can't change it. So let's get into detail. The legs over here are not actually connected because I can't find some pieces wait let's focus great so wait a second much better so as you can see because this is a vertical brick so it's just like a brick over here with this leg and these two pieces are connected to these two um this actually kind of helped this design because it sort of stables up the leg but unfortunately you can't move it anymore it's not that flexible okay then whoops on to the upper leg part we have this one which would I kind of like to explain let me lift the wings up a bit there we go so these this these ones are used classic barnacle pieces from Quite a long time ago, um, I made like a joint here, so it could connect to this, and it connects to the upper joint, which connects to the body. And there, uh, in total, two joints. It can still move, but it is really not flexible. You know what I mean. And you can't control it with just one hand. Let me fix this first. Okay, great. We're finally done. And now let's talk about the arms that I built and how I built them. And there we go. So, yeah, the right arm, something like this. I Because this is a bug monster, as you can see, I took it off. So, I kind of want to make it a uh, bug feeling. So, for me, uh, I made this... I used this piece, so I got the two claws that can be moved a bit to give it like a little bit of pincers feel, and I gave it a little tail because why not? Uh, it makes it look like a mini scorpion. And this thing it can shoot, but I don't want bullets to roll around my room, so I didn't bring it up here, unfortunately. So yeah, on to the next start, which is a bit more complicated because it has a weapon. Okay, great. So this arm, uh, quite simple, actually, this hand, but it's the weapon that really matters. So if you want to open the claws there, and you can take this piece off. The only difficult to work with one hand. Great, so here's the original weapon. I've used this. Wait, let me take it out. Okay, so I use this piece to connect the flames and to connect these two blades, the Hero Factory blades. And I also use them to make the wings. And let me focus a bit. And. This middle part, I used it for the bottom flames. 
and here's the main body I connected them these joint pieces these armor pieces with these connectable joint pieces like that and now I've used this joint piece to make it a curved feeling and also I used this piece in order to connect it to the hand and for the top flame it's connected from here and it goes on the top and you can see the distance is slightly uh, further away from this one so this one gets stuck out so yeah it gives it kind of like a front back feeling or something uh, let me just fix it be back in a sec alright there we go the pincers the weapon is fixed sorry and the pincers nothing so special just these two connector pieces uh, with claws on it and with this thing which can connect to the weapon so this piece actually fits in like that and also the distance is quite suitable when the claw is closed oh no okay great so finally sorry I have experienced some technical difficulties but don't worry while uh, I'm trying to fix it um, yeah I took it apart and it turns out I have no battery so sorry if you see this cable right here I, I have connected it okay so let's get started quickly so this is the first body piece contains the head the major part of the legs this is like the joint part and the arm pieces are basically connected to shield pieces so it makes it gives it like a really wide chest view thing and also I saw this part is curved and this one is a circle shape so I decided to experiment on it and it works yay great so and the second part is quite a bit complicated so this piece right here is like the piece for the support for legs so it's quite hard to fasten there we go it's done fastening and this one is the back chest piece which in the previous idea video I've said uh, we have to if you want to make it cooler you see you try making a back part so I take took it a whole step further and I built the arms on the back so and to reinforce it I used the leg joints the original leg joints to make this thing right here so yeah it actually kind of works and these two dots here sorry trying to focus 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 gosh dang it gosh dang it why won't you focus okay finally it's focused so these two dots are actually connected to these two right there and these two are connected to the top parts so the arms end up right underneath this thing and also the wings are additionally attached right here behind the shield part uh, the chest piece part sorry and the head is used for like the spiky feeling for the back of the head and it also covers this other piece which is actually originally supposed to be the head but I prefer like this it makes it it gives it like a scorpion feeling or something I wonder why would they count this part as the head anyways let's continue so we have wings I use this part piece because as you can see before you can fold it back down but I don't I have one hand only so I can't do it and the support part works like that so when your mock so when my mock okay mine so when it walks sorry just gotta fix it a bit wait okay there we go so it walks they swing 
loose and still connecting to the joint gives this support. Yeah. And the arms are connected to this joint right there and this other joint right there. Yeah, basically that's it. Five hours later. Holy bleep. Finally, I made this. Like, I wonder how much time has passed just to fix this. So, as you can see, this took, this thing took me a long time to build and, yeah, hopefully you'll like it. And that is also one of the reasons why I didn't record for so long. Yeah, I kept on building and improving it. And okay, it came off again. Wait a sec. Now, let me just show you, like, how I put, how I organize the armor pieces. So, okay, a tiny little piece fell. I don't really care. I'm going to fix it later. So, these pieces... Like the curved parts just fit this piece around here. Wait a second. Ow. There we go. So this first half and the second half. Great. There we go. So there we have it. And let me fix it back. This will take hours. Another five hours later. Okay, that's it, folks. Here we have it. This beast. So, hope you have learned something. So, yeah, let me just sum it up. So, first of all, I showed you my mock. Yeah. It's awesome. It's awesome. Okay, sorry. Just try to praise myself, lol. Depends if you think it's awesome or not. Second of all, I showed you how I built the basic parts of the body and like how I fit the pieces in. Yeah. And the third part, the most important thing you need to take away. Never break a complicated creation. It took me a freaking long time to fix this. Oh, uh, anyways, guys, uh also want to announce that the Minecraft videos will be coming out soon. The reason that it didn't come out is because I recorded a whole series of like YouTube survival uh, with Xiao. And you know what? It's mean. It deleted it. It's gone. Forever. Yeah, folks, that's why I haven't uploaded any videos yet. Sorry. For people like this, not subscribing, I haven't been uploading things for like half a year or so, and it's just sorry. Hope I can get my subscribers back, and yeah, and I will see you guys next time with a new video. And hopefully, today I can record two videos in a row. Hopefully, bye.